Here's a pretty exciting news for a lot of Elementor users out there. With the release of version 3.24, you can now finally get rid of all of those Elementor AI nags that you see on your screen. But there is a little catch and I will show you right now. So let's jump right in. Here we are on the WordPress dashboard in the plugins area and I have currently installed Elementor version 3.23.4 and Elementor Pro version 3.23.3. .3. If you've watched Paul's video, which I'll link to in the description, or you've used Elementor for a certain amount of time, you will know that there are so many areas where Elementor keeps popping up with their Elementor AI. For example, if you go to the media and then you try to edit one of your pictures, you see edit with Elementor AI. If you go into any of the pages, so if I go to pages, then I go into my home page and I try to edit one of these widgets. So let me click on this widget. You see edit with Elementor AI. So there are lots of places that the Elementor AI keeps popping up. Even when you try to drop in an image, so an image widget, you'll see this create with AI and so many places that the AI just loves popping up. But thankfully now, I'll show you when I install Elementor 3.24, what the changes are. Whenever you want to install the beta version of Elementor in your staging site, it has to be in your staging site. Go over to Elementor, then Tools, and go over to Version Control, and simply say you want to become a beta tester. So I'll go ahead and click Enable. Then I'll save changes. I can close this window. Once I do that, after a while, you'll be able to install the updates. So you might as well go to Dashboard, Updates, and see if there's any update. If there's none, you go ahead and refresh the page again. So let me go ahead and refresh it. And now I get my update. So I'll go ahead and install the first update. So the first update is installed, but that's just the beta for the first one, which is the free. So you go back to that updates page again, and you should see the second update which is for the Elementor Pro. So I'll go ahead and install it. So now I have the beta versions of both of them installed, which you can confirm from going to the plugins area, installed plugins. And at the moment I have Elementor version 3.24 beta 3 and Elementor Pro version 3.24 beta 6. So that means the final version will soon be released. So now comes the question of how do we disable the Elementor AI? If you go over to Elementor settings and then features and try to look for where to disable the AI, you wouldn't find it here. So that is the sneaky bit that I was talking about. The way you disable the Elementor AI is quite not so straightforward because I think they want to truly make sure that people get to see the AI as much as possible. So for now, they've only allowed it to be disabled on a user basis. So you have to come over to your users, then go to your profile. And under that, you'll be able to see where you can disable the AI. And if you want to disable notes as well, you can disable your notes. Then I'll go ahead and update my profile. And now once I've done that, if I come over to the media, I check my media, you see, no more build with AI. If I go into my pages, come over to the home page, edit it. You'd see if I click on any widget, there is no AI button anywhere anymore. If I go to my image, there is no edit with AI. So that's how you can get rid of all AI functions from your Elementor website, but it only works on a user basis. So you can disable it for your own user, but then your clients will still get to see it. So you'll have to disable it for every user on your page on an individual basis. Maybe in the future, they will get an option to disable it site-wide, but for now, you can only disable it on a user basis. So that's it for the Elementor AI. The other things you have to watch out for is that now some features have been activated by default. So if you go back to your Elementor settings, and then let me go back to the page, go under Elementor settings, and then features, 
one feature that has been merged to core is called the improved CSS loading. And they've promised that it has been fixed with all the bugs because there were some issues that were happening that were causing problems with like caching and some other things. But they've said that it has been fixed and now it has been merged to core. So some other things are now active by default as well. The elemental elements caching, the optimized control loading, and some other features, they've all been given stable status and the, some of them have been merged to core and some of them have been just activated by default in new websites. For example, the top by experiment, if you install 3.24 now, it should be active by default. So yeah, that's some of the features. If you want to see other features, I will leave a link to Imran's video where he talked about all the other things like the floating buttons and some other things that Elementor released. But I was just excited to see that the Elementor AI, we can now disable it because I'll be honest, I don't use the AI. In fact, I don't use AI that much. Apart from correcting my grammar, I don't really rely on AI that much. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.